Details, prosím. Velmi šanovný i vysokodostojný pan Hol, velmi šanovná paní Slava, nyní propála se hodní nadzvyčajno veliká čest vytáty vás, naší organizovaní hromadí v té ukrajinské tvrdyni, jaká je zbudovaná na bázi nacionalistických idej i jaký je rušínou silou všeho toho, co potřebuje naša bezvolná boroďba. My netíky vytáváme vás, šanovný pane Holvo, i vašu družinu sehodní v naší hromadě, ale rýmnočasno chceme vyslovit vám našu hlubokou vděčnost za vaši veliké trudy v kerování, u napěmění i praktično zdýsňování ve zvolnou boroďbě našeho národu, jaká na mezinárodní areni nabírá vše větší váhy i značení, da tak jaskravo i vytvářeno podkreslil před vámi, pane Holovo, prezident největší potuhy věného světu Reagan i zapevňujeme vás, že vám je postavený dorhý ukaz z ramení organizací ukrajinských nacionalistů bude unapjamlivat nás i v další práci. Bo to je dorhý ukaz pravdy Božují, dorhý ukaz pravdy ukrajinského národu, jaký nedáš nám i pokaže nám na různých rozdorížách nedozvolí nám zahubit se ale provádit, bude provádět nás do Zoltoverkoho Kýva i hordovitého horoda Lva. Mladé pokolíně Ukrajiny typu Semonenka, strýnouši s tvořčistou nacionalistických idej, zajemlají na vej svět nezladnou víru v silu ducha ukrajinského narodu, snídujíše s my slovami. Narod mi je. Народ мій завжди буде, ніхто не знищить мій народ. Такої віри являється наша українська громада в Братфорді, в імені якої ми сьогодні вітаємо вас і бажаємо, щоб цю дуже тяжку місію, яка припала вам, пане голово, ви успішно з українським народом, a Božou pomoci završili samostínou soborou ukrajinskou državou. Krypkoho zdravia i mnohých lid všimě bažajeme vám.
Ну, то мене сумніче не бере. Мене не бере. А це є зовсім нова будова. Що ми сумнали так. disappear. I'm going home. Ukrainian Nationalist Youth Organization. 
and uh, for this time I was uh, without interruption. Remember, we had an underground revolutionary movement after the organization of nationalists. This organization was created in 1929, and from this time I was the member of this organization, as leading member after two, three years in Ternopil and after in Rio, and, and uh, after in, in several I was traveling. I was traveling to the Western countries to mobilize the Western opinion for Ukraine independence. And I proclaimed the independence of Ukraine in 1931, 41, the 3rd of June. Can you can you tell me why um, you got yourself involved in Ukrainian uh, liberation movement at such young age? Because you because uh, the situation in Ukraine. Ukraine was under the Russian and Polish occupation and other occupants, and uh, our aim was to to fight for the new Ukrainian national independence and human liberties. And for our young generation, it was the aim, the purpose of all of, of all our life. It was not only my personal convictions, but it is for the fate of the whole young generation in this time to continue the liberation fight after the occupation of Ukraine, after the liberation of Ukraine and independence. We were the generation, yeah, the, this generation believed in the necessity to fight for, for, the, for our dignity, our liberty, our full uh, development of our possibilities of creativity and to create the possibility for our nations to have the, the same rights as all other nations of the free world. Can you tell me something about the events leading up to the Ukraine, uh, up to the renewal of Ukrainian independence and your role as Prime Minister? It was uh, during the Second World War, we were aware uh, of the convictions and it was our intention to use the situation of the war between the uh, Russians and Germans to use the situation for a new Ukrainian state, Ukrainian independent state against both enemies against Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia and to create the Ukrainian national independent state in all the ethnographic Ukrainian territories. And in this time, it was great underground, a large underground movement, liberation movement in Ukraine, led by the organization Ukrainian nationalists, in this time under the leadership of Stefan Bandera. Uh, and we organized uh, in Ukraine the insurgent, insurgent units, underground units, uh, and after these units fought against uh, Russian occupation of troops and German occupation of troops. And before the, the Germans conquered, the Western Ukraine, especially the capital of Western Ukraine, view. The, our insurgent units uh, liberated the view before the German troops came. And this time I illegally entered in Ukraine, in, in especially in view, and we have a plan to proclaim the independence of Ukraine in every situation, in every great city, and we used the situation before the German occupied the radio station, we occupied before the Germans, and, and it was, I convoked the National Assembly, the Russian National Assembly in the year 13, uh, June of 41, uh, 
uh, we, together with uh, Metropolitan Archbishop of the Ukrainian Catholic Church and in connection with the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Metropolitan Polycarp, and the present Patriarch of the Ukrainian Catholic Church, Cardinal CK, we, we prepared the proclamation. I was the author of the proclamation and uh, Archbishop, Archbishop Metropolitan Szeptecki prepared yes. the pastoral letter and together with uh, the present cardinal of Patriarch CK, we organized this National Assembly. I was the chairman of the National Assembly. We proclaimed the renewal of Ukrainian independence and uh, against the view and uh, against the view of Nazi Germany and uh, we created the government. This was the only one democratic, really democratic coalition government in, in the so-called new, uh, new Europe, New Germany Europe. In, in, in our government was uh, composed from, from, from the, not only from representatives of the organization of nationalists, but from national democrats, from socialists, from social revolutionaries, and many others, national, not so parties, because the parties were liquidated under the Russian occupation, occupation not only our organization, Ukrainian nationalists was in underground. It was only one organization, but uh, this was the, some tendencies in the Ukrainian society uh, from previously as National Democratic Party. Uh, more, more on personal, personal level as organization groups, but we uh, took in the government all these uh, most important representatives, including both churches, representative of both churches, uh, and uh, we prepared a program of our activities. In every city, in every village, was proclaimed the independence too. Uh, and we created at this time the revolutionary parliament, the so-called Council of Seniors, uh, under the honorary presidency of Metropolitan Szeptecki, and the chairman was the uh, Dr. Kostlewinski, former prime minister of the Ukrainian government in Western Ukraine in 1918. He, uh, and he was the president of this uh, revolutionary parliament, and uh, Metropolitan Szeptecki was honorary president, and uh, Patriarch Lipe, in this time the best of your know, bishop, he was the honorary member of this uh, uh, revolutionary parliament. And in this parliament uh, were represented all the political tendencies, and our organization was a minority, because our tendency was not to dominate, but to combine all the all national forces in the fight against Nazi Germany and uh, uh, Russia. After we received the ultimatum of Hitler to revoke the independence of Ukraine, to resign, I received to resign, the ultimatum to resign the Prime Minister of Ukraine, and dissolve the government, but I refused the ultimatum of Hitler, and I was arrested and imprisoned in concentration camps, uh, Sachsenhausen, near Berlin, uh, for four years. And uh, all, the, all the repressions uh, were, without result, three members of our government were uh, liquidated by the Gestapo. They were, they were murdered by the Gestapo. Other uh, were in underground and many were uh, liquidated by, by the Russians after, uh, after the 
between this, uh, the situation of the war between these two powers. This was uh, the, the situation this time. Why I proclaimed the independence was important for your question. Because in this time I was the first, uh, the, the first deputy chairman of the organization of Ukrainian nationalists. The Bandera was leader of the organization. I was the chief of staff. And in this time, I was uh, responsible in, the, in Ukraine the, the executive chairman of the organization of Ukrainian nationalists. And it was the situation that uh, we we had we have had the most the greatest and only one underground organization we have for our disposition uh, the cadres and the insurgent units and it was there was the power and from this point of view it was necessary to be active and another problem was that on the we were convinced that the uh, Russians, that uh, the German, especially the Hitler government, uh, was against our conception. It was necessary to have the chief of the government, one man, who had the courage, who had the courage to refuse the, not only the ultimatum, but under the pressure a danger of the liquidation, not to capitulate. Our leadership was of the opinion that that I should be this uh, this uh, candidate for the prime minister of UK. In this this uh, suggestion of the leadership of who was adopted by National Assembly. Uh, Revolutionary National Assembly in, in with understanding of what the Ukrainian churches. And can you tell me something about the origins of the anti russian people's nations? In this time, 1940, we prepared the first manifesto of the organization Ukrainian Nationalists, and this manifesto we under emphasized that it's necessary to create the common front of all the subjugated nations uh, against the uh, fight against uh, the oppression against the occupation of, of Ukraine by all enemies of Ukraine and uh, by the means of national liberation insurrections coordinated and simultaneous of all these subjugated nations, we can uh, create the, the, we can dissolve the Russian Empire, the national independent states, and to have the possibility to fight against uh, Nazi Germany. It was the first manifesto in the Western world against totalitarianism for freedom of men, for freedom of nations, for freedom of speech, and so forth, and these uh, basic human <coughs> liberties. And this manifesto was political, uh, political principle, was as basis for the creation of anti Russian Club of Nations. It was 1940, before the war against, uh, between Germany and, and uh, Russia. Uh, I, I, I would like to uh, underline that in this time it was the revolutionary uh, document to proclaim against the victorious Germany in who uh, continental Europe this manifesto against totalitarianism, against colonialism of every type and form. It is, this was the political, ideological initiative. At this time we prepared, it was created in 1914, the Committee for co co Common Fight of the Subjugated Nations, and we published the first magazine, Our Front, 
in many languages of the subjugated nations. And after, in 43, I was in Nazi concentration camps, but uh, the, the Bandera was together in, in the same in the same concentration camp. But the the, the General Taras Chuprimka, the successor of uh, Bandera, and, and after I, after I was arrested, and he organized uh, this common front uh, with. Uh, by the means, uh, for, for, uh, by primary to create, to convoke, he convoke this conference of the subjugated nations in the forest of Ukraine in Zhetomir in November 43. And it was created the uh, committee of uh, so-called na National Committee of the Revolutionary Organizations of the Subjugated Nations. The, the name, the name of anti-Bolshevik of nations, uh, was uh, this was the basis, organiz organizational basis for anti-Bolshevik block of nations, and this uh, in certain units participated in this conference. The representatives, these insurgent units of many nations, this was thirteen nations, and and after. Great uh, raids of the Ukrainian insurgent army in many uh, countries to propagate this common front of the subjugated nations. And in this, uh, in this uh, sense, that uh, we, uh, we were of the, of the opinion that we, we cannot. Can't receive the support of the Western powers because the Western powers were allies of, the, of Russian imperialists against Nazi Germany. But our conception was to fight against both enemies. And we, in this time, this conference adopted the proclamation and the appeal to the Western powers in this sense that the Western powers should create the common front with the subjugated nations against both, against Nazi Germany and against uh, communist Russia. But this, uh, our appeal was refused. Uh, I think it was the greatest mistake of the Western powers because it was possible in this time to dissolve, to liquidate both enemies of the <coughs> of freedom and uh, national independence, Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia together with America, with Great Britain, with France and uh, other allies. Uh, but uh, without this, our appeal was without result. And we fought, uh, the Ukrainian insurgent army fought uh, more than 10 years in the 1950s years. In 1947, it was impossible for Russians to be victorious, and the Russians created the, uh, the alliance between two powers, uh, communist Poland and uh, communist Ch Czechoslovakia, and three armies. Uh, this alliance of three armies, so the of the victorious, so-called victorious, because without support of Great Britain and the uh, United States, it was impossible, you know, it would be impossible for uh, Russia to be victorious. But uh, uh, these three powers, uh, uh, it, was the, it was the plan uh, of Russians, this alliance, to defeat the Ukrainian insurgent army. But it, uh, they they have had only the success that that our insurgents go underground.